While this happens, the chemicals of the battery are thrown into a pile of chemical reactions. Even the electrolyte reacts. And as zinc loses its electrons, it becomes zinc positive, which then reacts with the oxygen in potassium hydroxide to form zinc oxide. Also, as potassium hydroxide loses oxygen, some of the oxygen atoms react with the hydrogen in the molecule to form water, leaving behind potassium positive. Meanwhile, manganese dioxide is gaining more electrons, giving it a negative charge. This chemical also reacts with the water from potassium hydroxide and other manganese atoms to form dimanganese trioxide. However, batteries are not forever. They reach a point where all the chemicals have reacted. There is nothing but zinc oxide, dimanganese trioxide, and the potassium positive has reacted with leftover hydroxide to form potassium hydroxide again. Now let's put the battery in the circuit again with an appliance and a switch connected to the wire. The switch is in the off position. The circuit is open and the current doesn't flow.